Hey y'all, we are into our garage now. Kind of give you a glimpse. And we're starting to do some cleanup. I know we haven't been putting out a lot of video, but we've really been scrambling to get into some sort of a living space. Um, we really scrambled to get in before the cold weather hit. Now we've got a bunch of old clips and things showing you kind of our progress, where we're at. And from here on, we should have regular updates and regular videos of things we're working on and things we've worked on in the in the near past. So <laughs> if anything to say? No. <laughs> um, you said it all. But anyway, we've got some clips and we're going to take you through our journey. Eventually, we'll take you on a tour of the garage our our living space now our, our house now until we get the real house fixed up um which could take some years but but eventually we'll take you on a tour of the garage and we'll show you what all we've done um how we built it and i want to calculate up how much we spent because we didn't spend we didn't spend a lot. We didn't spend a lot. We were very, very thrifty. But we did everything ourselves. Like and we did all the, yeah, we did all of the work ourselves. So, but that's coming soon. So for now, enjoy the video. So just a beautiful morning out here. Rain's moving in. The sun's peeking out through the clouds. Here, a woodpecker. Pushing down this old shed today. So when we got this property, there was just a bunch of farm, farm implement equipment, different pieces of junk and just trash. And, and we did find this old four wheeler in, a, in the weeds. So, and it does run. Um, well, you can see in here that it's, it's quite a bunch of junk in here. They, they let uh, calves get in here. They had some open bags of feed that spilled on the floor. Um, we got some some pipe that we're getting ready to put in as well just stored in here for right now but you can see it's pretty open just a standard pull barn um, from what we can tell it was a one car garage many years ago turned into a two car garage at some point and it was done quite well actually but we're going to strip this thing out and clean it but you can see you got some old stickers in here <laughs> So, but yep, so that's what we're doing tonight here. We got electric coming tomorrow and I needed to get this uh, breaker box in this garage. And we got to come out the roof with the, um, with the weather head. So, um, but I thought I'd give you a pretty neat view from, from up above here. You can see the, the place. This is where the new, new part extension will be. You can see the house. 
You can see the chicken house over there. And then you can see behind the garage here. So our, our property line is right here at this tree line. That's our, our neighbors. So there's our, the old, uh, another barn, old shed we pushed over. The neighbor's way, the other neighbor way across there. So let me show you here what I've done. So I already started this before I decided to, to, to show you guys what we're doing. So I'll show you here. So the easiest way to get a hole in these tin roofs, other than a hole saw, um, is to, to just uh, drill. You can drill holes in a circle around where you want. And you can see here where I've drilled these holes. And then you just take your tin snips and cut around in a circle. And you can trim it bigger if you want. So um, make sure you seal the things up really good. But pretty soon there'll be a pipe sticking through here and it'll be all nice and sealed and new wiring ready to go in. When you cut a hole in a roof, especially in this metal roofing, take the edge of this, take some pliers and just lift up the edge. So nothing's gonna be attaching to it, but what this does is it, it creates a, it makes it a little sturdier, but it also keeps, if you do get water, it keeps water from leaking in. So you can put a little silicone around this too, but this will help if, if water does get underneath the seal. It will keep it from a lot better chance of getting in. It's not perfect, but you'd be surprised what it does. Just raise up that lip a little bit, and any little water drops or anything that gets down in there will just run right around it. We got, make sure we got some light here for you guys to see. But we got the temper the, the panel put up temporarily. We got our line ran up to the top. Um, we got our existing wiring. We got our existing outlets and uh, lights hooked into it. This yellow and red wire is a temporary line that runs all the way inside to the house and hooked up to what used to power the water heater. So. Um, until the electric company gets here tomorrow to, to actually hook up the real cable. We'll use this so we still have light in here. Um, you can see the... We cut the weather head down. Got everything ready to go for the electric company. We've got to take the old wiring off. Rain, rain, rain. There's us, blue dot. All right, it's looking better. We got this wall down and we're trying to get the rest of it over here. They had it go up into the roof trusses. Yeah, you just lift. covered in this stucco, this white stucco and chicken wire underneath that. And it was all stapled onto the boards and that was a chore getting all that off. I realize now that it would have been a lot better to take that off before we knocked the wall down, but oh well. Here we go. This is Little Piney Creek after 
probably what two good whole days of rain here three three whole days three days of rain and so a lot of it. just going to do a quick little video here we haven't really got much on on this but so um neighbor of ours is a good friend and he is he bought uh, half of this farm with us and this is our our property line right here and this this was two big old um uh, little uh draws here where the water would run down through and it just cut really deep down through here and so in order for him to get his hay out of here easily without having to come across because it used to be the that field up there would come all the way across up there and up to our barns and down our driveway so he was going to be bringing a semi truck in here to get hay out and decided he wanted to to go ahead and 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 put a, a dam across here and create us a pond so this will be his road coming in and we'll and this is uh, the pond that he made us for doing that so it's it's quite quite nice coming along really well we got some rain coming this week and we're hoping to to maybe get some He's going to get in here and roll it tomorrow and and hopefully get some rain in here and start getting it filled up. But it'll make a nice little fishing pond or irrigation pond for gardens and things like that. We'll have a road going across on our side and roads going across on his side. and So and our hay field is up on top there. So pretty cool. Transformer down. got our weather head up everything installed electric company come out today and and hooked us up so we are live on power um we got our boot all screwed down and sealed so no more water leaks so you can see the uh, line runs right over to the new pole with the new transformer and then they put a new guy wire on the pole by the house. So we're very thankful to have all this done before the rain comes. Look at that moon. Full moon tonight. But we got the rest of the pad mostly dug out, actually. It was wet digging, but it's out. There's still a little cleanup to do up here, but other than that. But tonight's chore is getting this garage cleaned out because we're gonna be putting some sealer down on it, which is over here. <clears throat> oh no, that's the muriatic acid, Never mind. So anyway, sealer would go on this and... You sure the jug wasn't? I thought there was a jug over there. Where's it at? It's in the camper staying warm. Oh. Oh, I was seeing the disinfectant jug. Oh. Anyways, we're getting this disinfected tonight. This is all disinfected and cleaned. It was full of cow manure. There'd been cow manure caked up and it was stuck to the concrete and it's cleaned up now. Once it warms up enough, probably above 50 degrees, we will uh, get this sealed up. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a little bit of an update here. We got a wall built across the front here, got the doors taken off. We got it ready for concrete coming out tomorrow morning. Got trusses delivered. We got 
materials for the new part of the building coming uh, tomorrow. So you can see we're getting ready to start putting up some, some insulation and some drywall. So we've got electric panel in, um, started getting stuff roughed in quick on electric. So Jacob is working on some blocking for the bottom down here to be able to pour concrete up against it. So got our insulated line that runs to the furnace in. So you can see the furnace up there past the four wheeler but I've got it set up to where right now it'll heat the, still heat the house and it will heat the, the garage at the same time. So, okay, um, I'll take another. You know, that's really annoying trying to record and you're over there running that saw. What? It's really annoying trying to record while you're running the saw. I didn't think it'd bother you being out there. So, I'll show you some more water line at the other, where we dug up for the rest of it in a little bit. We put a brand new water line from the well house all the way down there, um, over to this point, put a new frost free uh, connection in there. And then the water line come all the way through over here to this corner of the house. So, um, I brought that in, the wood boilers here comes across and comes in this point. So when we opened up this ground, um, we had ha had really heavy rains, um, but we have a, a problem underneath this house of standing water already. So underneath this house and pretty much all the way down to that well house, way down there, it sits on a massive rock slab. And um, we ran it all the way down as we dug. Um, there's very few spots where it dropped below 36 inches, but it was almost perfectly level at 36 all the way across there. So, and it actually continues underneath the house over here, um, coming out in front of the garage as well. Um, so it's quite quite a large thing, but it doesn't let the water drain extremely well. So um, what we did is we, we put a French drain in our water line ditch, and it comes out over there behind that, that, that big walnut tree you see in the picture. So um, it's almost a, a level run with just a very little slope, um, but it will allow the water to still drain. So. Um, it'll drain slow, but it'll drain. So um, all the water lines, I brought everything through the inside of the house so that it was ready. When we get remodeled, we'll have the water already there. Um, plus the, the, furnace, the, the wood furnace will heat the house as well as the garage. But you can see the other spot. We got water line, furnace line, and a, another piece of PEX that I'm using as a conduit for communications cable comes all the way down and over here to the corner of this garage and up into the ceiling. Just wanted to give you a quick update here. We've really been going um, pretty fast at this and times have been off and on because of rain and things like that, but we've been working really hard to try and get this thing built out. So um, I wanted to do a quick overview of everything that we've done up to this point with you guys. Um, we didn't get all of it recorded like we wanted to. Time just wasn't allowing for us for that to happen for us. So, and you know, so at this moment, you know, it kind of, you know, sometimes times gets away from you. We're kind of under a deadline here of, you know, getting our, our house moved up here. Um, so I got two more days of working on the place here before we head home late that night to get the rental trucks and, and get things packed in and, and get moved up here. And we got to have a temporary area in this, in this garage to store our stuff and while we live in the camper for another week or so um, until we get the, the new addition, you know, framed in and we can start to spread things out. Um, so, um, so let me just do a, a, a quick recap here with you. Um, we moved into um, this week here. One of the big things we've been waiting on is concrete. So um, it took us, the rain delayed us behind. Um, our concrete guys come out and got it formed up for us. We had to dig all this out. Um, and we poured uh, really quickly on Wednesday or Friday. Or was it Friday? Mm -hmm. 
So we poured this on Friday. It's now Sunday. Um, we put a sealer on top of it right after it was poured. Actually, let me change perspective so you can see here just a little bit. So now you can see the whole thing. So today is framing day. We're going to get these walls framed up and try and get these trusses set on here. Um, hopefully a little bit before lunch we'll be done with walls and maybe even trusses. So you can see we, we got the other wall up. Everything is tied in now. It's anchored to the floor. We are getting ready to set some trusses up on. Ready? Ready, one, two, three. Hey everyone, we wanted to do a progress update for you. It's been a while. Uh, we've been pretty consumed with moving, and it took us a good, what, week to move? Yeah, yeah. at least a good week. A good week. <laughs> so and Three trucks and multiple trailers. Yeah. And so we had to rebuild the well house. Um, it was in pretty bad shape in, inside. The insulation was gone. Um, had a lot of rodents in it, so we, we sealed it up. Um, fix any any of the lump the wood inside of it put a new roof not a new roof but a new access cover on it um, all new water lines um, cleaned everything up insulated it sealed it um, put a good light in it for heat um, we brought in a lot of gravel to to help clean up some of the mud um, we got a lot of water on this property a lot of springs so it stays wet in a lot of areas jacob has actually been measuring out his plot for his market garden too so he's getting prepared for that he's planning on taking vegetables to some of the local markets this, this is our pile of metal for the the extension so we're just doing a a, a normal um steel you know steel built roof and walls on it um sealed up for any type of critters or things like that, but, and then, you know, vapor barrier and insulated. So the, the goal of this new space we're building is to, to turn it back into a two car garage later on, once we get the renovation of the house done. So we, we building it like that. So. Or a studio. Or a studio, whatever happens. <laughs> but either way, it's we'll ready see. for whatever we want to do to it. Christmas spirit. So this is our home sweet home for now. It's cozy. I put up some Christmas lights. I am getting ready to start, I'm getting ready to start a load of laundry, so I kind of thought, I had this idea to kind of bring you along for the day on the farm. I'm kind of getting a late start because it was pretty rainy this morning and cold. Um, it's still pretty dreary, but it's a good day to get some stuff done, some household tasks and things. Right now with not a lot of storage, we kind of have all our coats piled here and hung, and then we've got 
boots and shoes and mainly boots, muddy boots. All right, now we just have a little bit of gravel down to kind of contain the mud. Um, and I have a little trail into the garage for washer and dryer. set me up a washer and dryer in the garage and the furnace is going right now so it's kind of loud but we have cold water only but I'm just happy to have a washer. I'm kind of give you an update where the garage is at. They got plastic up on every wall. And they got one whole wall done with a window and a door. So it's looking good. We've got rat guard on the bottom to hopefully prevent rodents or help deter them anyway. And today they're working on the other two walls. It looks like the other side they've already got windows. Installing the rat guard. Chickens are really enjoying their new digs. So I'm gonna go get some meat out for dinner. We decided we're gonna have tacos tonight. Well, I decided we're gonna have tacos tonight. <laughs> We have our freezer in a secure location, safe location where it'll stay good with all the weather we get here. I've kind of taken some time these last few days to kind of organize our freezer so I can kind of see what we have. So I'm not buying unnecessary things, but for right now I just need some ground beef because we're gonna make some taco meat tonight.
So we have trash service, or we can get trash service. I actually had one set up to bring us a can, and we were going to be able to put fill that can every week, but um, they canceled on us because we're too far off their route. But for now, until we get that, we burn our trash. Going off in that water. Work too, apparently. Right here. Oh boy. No. I don't think that's ten. I think that's ten times ten. <laughs> Today I'm doing some cleanup around the yard and barnyards. It's not your typical cleanup. It's skeletons and bones from the former owner's cattle. Um We've been told that he left them, basically left them to starve. And we found the evidence everywhere. We have full skeletons in the chicken coop, in the barns, under the front porch. But anyway, I'm trying to clean up the yard and the barnyard so that we don't have to see these all the time. And then we'll tackle the fields little by little too. dad and my mom when we would be bumping through the fields and the ruts and stuff they always told me that God was preparing me for something in life and I always wondered what that was sometimes I thought it was maybe going to the mission field there were times when I thought you know some of the outdoor life that we've enjoyed with camping and everything but I really think that it was this <laughs> Because this has not been easy. It's been very difficult. Um, and it's been an experience. A good experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I wouldn't trade it for anything. In fact, sometimes I shake myself or I'm sh shaken awake by the thought of this almost being like a miracle that we got this place. And I'm so grateful. But I, I've been thinking about that a lot lately when we would be driving through the fields to check the cows and dad, dad and mom. I can't remember which one of them said it. Maybe both of them say that God was preparing me for something in life. And I think this was it <laughs> because this, this is, this feels like our true purpose to be here on this farm with all of the work and the mud and the potential the real potential. I'm so grateful. <laughs>